Health, Helen DeVos Children's Hospital cares for the physical health of patients, but also for the emotional health. Art therapy is the newest way they're enhancing care with the addition of an art therapist. Here to tell us more about her new role, Emily Falzo, and she is a licensed creative art therapist, a transplant to West Michigan. Emily, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So, so first of all, let's just talk about what is art therapy? <laughs> the good question. <laughs> so art therapy is a form of therapy, traditional mental health therapy, but we like to mix in art and the process of making art as a form for people to communicate what's going on. You know, it's not arts and crafts with kids. It's so much more than that. It's a way for people to express their thoughts without even sometimes noticing it. Yeah, and so talk about how this program is going to be implemented at Helen DeVos. Yeah, so I am, like you said, the first art therapist. Yeah. Um, so I really am starting the program, figuring out where I need it in the hospital, which is everywhere. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so finding ways where I can prioritize my time, um, figuring out what we need to do as far as supplies, um, how do we keep kids safe, especially when kids maybe are coughing on everything, sure. and then figuring out how do I implement individual sessions. I've been doing a lot of art therapy sessions right at the bedside, so kids who can't get up and move out of their beds, I'm able to still provide that. Um, and I would love to continue to offer that but also adding in family sessions and doing groups so that kids can continue to express themselves but do it with other kids their own age. Wonderful. And talk a little bit about the why. Why do you do this? And talk about the changes you see in some of the patients when they're going through art therapy. Yeah, um, art is something that I've always been passionate about since I was a little kid. and. It was a great way for me to express myself, and so I'm so happy that I get to do that for kids who are going through a lot. You know, they're in an unfamiliar environment. Nobody wants to be at the hospital, and this is something that's familiar for a lot of kids, you know, coloring and markers and supplies like that, and it's comforting for them. And so I'm so happy to provide that to our patients. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of the times kids come in, they're scared, whether they be five years old or 15, you know, it's, it's scary. They're getting poked and prodded pretty much every day and it just allows them to, you know, relax, breathe for a minute and just have fun. Yeah. Talk about how you guide the patients. I mean, do you tell them, you know, how to do this? Because I think it's hard for some people if they're, yeah. they're not doing it all the time. Kids probably a little more naturally, yes. but, but, but trying to get them to express themselves in, in a creative way. Yeah, kids definitely uh, do it so much more naturally than working with adults. You know, adults like, oh, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look how I want it to be. Or kids are like, oh, I'm ready to go, you know? So I really like to leave it open-ended for them. You know, I'll say draw a place that makes you feel safe and they will just run with it. Um, you know, whereas an adult might be a little bit more hesitant. So the kids, you know, they are just so used to expressing themselves through play, through art. So they take to it much more easier than some of the older adolescent patients. Mm -hmm. um, I like to leave it open for them. You know, they don't have a lot of choice in the hospital. They don't get really told what they can do and when they can do it, especially when it comes to treatments that don't make them feel good. So I look, go into a room and I say, what are you interested in? Do you like markers? Do you like to paint? Do you like to do this? And then I offer them a few different options and they get their choice. Love that, love that. Yeah. And then just talk about why you do what you do. I mean, yeah. what, what a cool job. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I said, art is something that I've always loved and it's been an outlet for me my entire life. And I love being able to provide that for other people, especially who are kind of restricted. You know, it's just, play and art is such a natural thing for kids and they don't get to do that when they're in the hospital and i love being able to help people express themselves whether they know they're doing it or not <laughs> um and i just love having the ability to talk about you know mental health in such a playful not very over scary kind of way. I love it. Emily, thank you so much for being here, for, for coming to West Michigan yeah, and bringing you. this program. We're so excited about it. You want to learn more about this program or any of the other programs, spectrumhealth.org. We'll be right back.